Hi guys, my name's John and I am a lover of luxury and I'm a lover of YouTube. Um, I am a Chicago-based personal shopper. I work for a luxury-based department store here in the city and uh, YouTube is kind of a fun thing I like to do on the side. Um, speaking of things I like to do on the side, here's my fiance, Steve. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> anyways, we've been together for almost seven years, so you know. Um, so I made a video previously this week where Steve went through and was an absolute savage in terms of my handbag collection. As you can see by the gestures, he's just displayed on screen. Um, so I thought to myself, well, what do I have a lot of in addition to that? And I said, oh, hey, I have a lot of Chanel jackets. Um, I should have you go through them. And he goes, okay, cool. And I was like, okay, so pick five you like and five you don't like. And he's like, okay. And I was like, they're here. And he's like, but wait, these are blazers. And I was like, no, these are all jackets. And he's like, okay. And then he was like, just Chanel. And I was like, this whole closet is just Chanel. Um, don't worry, we'll have a closet tour coming soon. And he had to go to the second one to see the off-season ones to pick two. Um, so today I'm wearing Cuccinelli because I didn't want to spoil the fun <laughs> of um, potentially having you hate the one that I have on and just roast me into next week. Um, so I figured we'd get started. Um, please give this video a like and a thumbs up for Steve because he didn't have to be here and he's here anyways, even though he also pays rent to live here. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to. I'm super happy that we've already hit over a thousand subscribers, which is wild. Um, I'm hoping we can continue to grow from here. And if you guys like Steve on this channel, slash Steve likes being here, it'd be fun to have him here more often. Um, and yeah, remember if you subscribe, that means that you don't have a problem. It means that I don't have one either, regardless of what Steve says. So let's get started. Yeah, I'm impressed that I got invited back. You did. <laughs> you did. First I, of all. And it was something with the rent having to clear like a day ago. That was probably part of it. Um, do you want to start with the good or the bad? Last time we started with the bad. So I feel like we should. We have a good, strong history of bad news. We have, a, we have a strong history in general, so I'm concerned <laughs> about where this is going to go. Do you want to do what I did last time and do the, my least hated to most hated? Sure. Okay. So starting the, the at the least hated of the dislikes. The best of the worst. Yeah. Is this this purple number. <laughs> um, this comes in at number five of my Tell me why. things I don't like. It's just I never see you in this color. Okay. You don't you don't wear this color a lot. Okay. Also, the buttons, I know they're a big deal for you, but they're just like they're massive. Correct. Oh, they're just they're just in my opinion, too much. Um, so... Minimalist, as I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> the maximalist. Too much! Maximalist. Too much. Too I'm much sure in the button. Tell. Um, fun fact about that suit, when I bought it, um, I brought it home, and you literally said that I look like your grandmother, to which my response was, I look like my grandmother, which is the highest compliment anyone could give me. So, I took it as a compliment, and he was like, no, that's not good. But you also would know that if you've watched my Chanel jacket video. If you haven't, it's going to be linked down below. Please feel free to watch. This jacket is from 1989-1990. I have the skirt that matches it. So it's a full Chanel suit and it is in purple. So, okay. So that's number five. God help us where number four is going. Number four is this one. Oh, <gasps> Only because I think it's a little, it's a little outdated in terms of like up close. It just looks like a couch. It just, oh no. Okay. Continue. Continue. It just looks. I. It's. I don't. I. To, prefacing this with, I had a hard time picking up my least favorite ones because, to your credit, there weren't a lot that I disliked. Okay. Um, okay. This one only made the list because my grandparents had a couch that looked like this in their basement, so it just it it just looks like a couch to me. Okay. Um. That one is from spring summer two thousand one. I bought it this year in April at Leslie Hyman Auctioneers. Um, I'm just burning all of your professional contacts left and right. <laughs> I bought that and I have been quoted as saying that is my favorite jacket that I bought this year. And oh. so far this year, I have bought seven at least. So, just roasting they all the ones I bought this year. They can't all be winners. Oh, dang. I love that jacket. And it's in cotton. It, I do like the material. Like I said, cotton, it feels like a couch. This is another one I think you're going to be upset about. Is this, this piece. Okay. 
Tell me why. Lay it on me. I just don't get it. I don't. I don't know what goes where. Who gets cuffed into what? Uh, the buttons. I. They're all over the place. I have no idea what this is. Um. Uh, okay. Continue. I'll, I'll explain it all here in a bit. It's just. It's just. It's just a lot of song and dance for me. The color. I'm not super crazy about, but I don't hate. Okay. It's just. I. I just don't get it more than anything. So, this is from the 80s. This is vintage Chanel. This is my most recent Chanel jacket that I've picked up. I haven't even owned this for a month yet. Maybe you um, just hit, swung and missed a couple of them. I don't know. This is an additional collar that is removable. So, it actually snaps in the inside of the jacket. See, that's just too much. So, you get two different looks for the same jacket. Um... And the cups on the shoulders are also removable via snaps. So this is the vibe that it comes with. It gives you two different looks with one. And it's See, short with the collar, sleeve, I don't hate it as much. Which is funny because everyone else hated it with the collar. Uh <laughs> so that's why I took the collar off. Um, please excuse the sloppy presentation in this exact moment. Okay. All right. This is linen which is why I bought it, linen lined with silk, so I could wear it for um, summer. Sure, okay. And, um, okay, all right, we're just roasting my 2020 options. Just a miss for me, too much. <laughs> oh, this is another one that I think you're going to be upset about. I mean, I love all of them. That's I know I you do. all of them. <laughs> and I, the, the reason this is on the list is the same reason that this is on the list for me. It just looks like a couch. It's just, it just feels like a couch. It looks okay. like a couch. If it looks like a duck, talks like a duck. Quacks like a duck. It, it, call it's it a, a duck. duck. It looks like, it just is big couch energy to me. <laughs> big couch energy. Um, yeah, I like that it's that. light and kind of breathable. Uh-huh. But it's just couchy. And I think the style, it just, it just looks outdated and Couchy. Outdated and couchy. That's my new vibe for fall 2020. When we talk about 2020 trends, outdated and couchy. Those are the two we're looking for. So this is from 1999. Um, this is a Carl collection. This was also purchased this year. Oh, I am <laughs> hitting them out of the park for 2020. Um, at Leslie Hyman Auctioneers. Please the same don't... place that number four came from. <laughs> He really does like you, the I promise. The same auction. Oh, no. Literally the same auction. You were in the living room while I was bidding on this on TV and didn't stop me. Um, uh, I, so, this, yeah. that goes That just goes to show how much I actually knew was being bid on. That's also fair. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't know how much was getting bid on, too, until the bill came. So, okay. All right. Well... There we go. That's number two. And my most disliked, most hated Chanel, whatever this is, mm -hmm. is this 1990s art teacher vest kind of situation. I'm like, if you're dark. an art teacher and you teach art to elementary school children, like, good on you. We need people like you. But, like, I don't, I don't love the get up for it. It just seems very, like... I, you know, I'm, I'm a middle-aged, down-on-her-luck Midwestern lady oh my God. Okay. who is teaching, you know, elementary school art so that I can leave the house. Like, I don't love it. I don't like this one very much at all. There's this, it's, it was with the coats and it was a vest. So yeah. already sitting low. It's, it's, it's first a liar. And then it's, it's, a liar. it's a lying art teacher. That's what this is. Well, do you want to know why I bought that? Um, is it from Leslie Hyman from this auction this year again? No, but that, is, more that your... is from this year. That is from this year. And it also, I bought it because it goes back to the bag that you love so much. Oh, see this just, this, it is just, it is a miss for me. It does two strikes. Okay. Two strikes. Two strikes. All right. Great. Well, good news is the bad ones are over, so we don't get a third one. Yeah. And also, if you are his um, recent professional contacts, I promise you, he's still, he's still, he's still looking. I'm still going to shop. He's still, yeah. 
Okay, so now the good news. The good ones. The ones that are going to feel a lot happier. Okay. All right. Um, Let's see. Number five oh. is this long, very... I've seen you wear this one a lot. I know... I love her. You love this one very much, and it is just... It's one of your off-season ones. It's just me. It's jacket. it's you exactly. It's you mm -hmm. in a jacket. The buttons are still understated enough for me, mm -hmm. and I just it just seems very business appropriate, very very comfortable. I've seen you wear it a lot, and mm -hmm. I just like this one. Ninety six, sp um, spring nineteen ninety six. Um, yeah, I love this one. I got that at luxury garage sale a couple years ago. Um, that was, I believe, I'll show the link. believe that was my third, it was either my second or my third Chanel jacket I ever owned. So, and I there's so her. much you can do with this. So that's why I like this All right. one. Okay. This one, my number four mm -hmm. is this gray number. Mm -hmm. The collars on this stuff. I, I'm sure. There we go. And the reason I like this one mm -hmm. is because it fits me. <laughs> I like this one because I tried it on. It looks like something I'd wear, and fun fact, I can. Oh so God, that scares me. Okay, just just a little piece of info there. No, I feel like I like this a lot because this seems like a very functional piece. There's just small pops of color, which I appreciate. Uh huh. It's very. You can wear this to a lot of different places. You can wear it to work. You can wear it out to dinner. You can wear it to a show. Mm -hmm. I just, I liked this one and also it fits. Did you see who's on the buttons or what the buttons are? They're Coco Chanel buttons. They're mini Cocos, yeah. Oh, do so you want me to do a close up for the No, yeah, we already, I already did it. Okay, my, I like, believe you. Yeah. Nine hour long video about all my Chanel jackets. So this is from the late 80s. Um, the lining is a little fakakted, which is fine. That's, I'm sure, my fault, Focked. not yours. Um, and, yeah, she's a gray wool cash blend. I bought her because of the cocoa buttons. I love her because of the cocoa buttons. And I'll never get rid of it because of the cocoa buttons. So. See, I love it because of everything else other than the cocoa buttons. I mean, I also like it, and I like wearing it. And I like wearing it. Yeah, that's true. Um, number three is this one. Mm. She's a good one. See, I told you I knew what I was doing. I like this little accent of a little camellia. Okay. I even know the flower yeah. type. Well, you know flowers better than I do. So. I really like this color. I like this pattern. I like this weight. The buttons are very manageable for you me. You don't even see the buttons. Exactly. Closed. And I like it. It's mm -hmm. just, I feel like, once again, this is a multi-purpose jacket. I've seen you wear it a lot. I mm -hmm. like the, the black and the white, and I love the material and the way that it's made. Mm -hmm. This one is 2001. Cruise 2001. Again, I have to really eat my words when it comes to saying that I did like Chanel from the early 2000s because it's most of my closet. Um, yeah, I love her. She's black and white. She has a little camellia. It also comes in white and black. I want it too. Oh, that'd be nice. And I could buy that, wear that for a rehearsal dinner maybe. Yeah. If you're out there and you're out there in a size 46... DM me, let me know. Leslie Hyman, please. Let's For the love of God, I've just this roasted one is, you. This one is not from this year. All the ones that oh, you picked so far, years. I haven't bought this year, um, which is interesting. Okay. All right. Let's see number two. two. This is number two. Mm -hmm. I need to get the label fixed on that one. It's, yeah, it's a little, it's well loved. Yes. She it's is well, well worn. <laughs> because it's, yeah, it's very well worn. This is like, I've seen you wear this a lot, especially in the summer. Mm -hmm. There's so much you can do with this. I've seen you do like very, very nice shirts and blouses and pants too. Like this mm -hmm. with a t-shirt and jeans. Mm -hmm. It just seems very versatile. I like the lightness mm -hmm, of it. Because it's cotton. Yeah. And I like the, the blue accent on the white coat. I could never wear this because I would destroy it. Yeah, that's um, true. But you're a lot more responsible with your food than I am when well, you eat. This is also Chanel, so you just need to be responsible in general. Yeah, so this is this is okay. number two. I like this one quite a bit because... That is... Um, yeah, sorry I interrupted you. No, that was, I, the, I've said everything I need to say. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, that one is um, from the Chanel Scuba Collection. I want to get the versions that are all in sequins as well because they made this an all sequin oh my um yeah so i really want those because those are collector's pieces but i love her i think i got this on poshmark 
like two years ago and it has no buttons and I could potentially add buttons back but I'm really not interested because I like without the buttons it's more interesting but I love her that was a good choice all right and then the, you're gonna like my number one too yeah this is my number one favorite Chanel jacket that you own yeah I just think this is this is really cool it's heavy mm -hmm. but it is just so cool Mm -hmm. I've seen you wear this so many different places, so many different times, with so many different things. It is just so cool to me. Mm -hmm. I like the fabric. I like the material. I like the way that it's cut. I like the way it looks and light with a little bit of shimmer to it. Mm -hmm. And I really, really like the chain accent. I think that's a really, really cool touch. This just, like, speaks to the former emo goth kid in me who had the chain wallet on my pants. Like, this is the grown-up version of that. Like, okay. the very grown-up version Channeling my inner emo kid. I love it. Okay. Well, this is also one of my favorites, if not my favorite, too, because this is my first Chanel jacket. So this is the first oh. one I ever bought. Um, I bought this from Luxury Garage. So it's from 2006, spring 2006. Um, and this is the one that, when I bought it, I emailed a photo to my grandmother, and she said, oh, is that from Spring Summer 2006? And I said, uh-huh. And she said, oh, that's so cool. I have that in navy. <laughs> so I didn't get to have a moment being excited, talking to the Chanel queen about getting my first Chanel jacket. But, oh, my God, I've worn this thing to, like, seven Everything. weddings. Um, to work with jeans. Yeah, I love this. I'll never get rid of her. So that was a good choice. Um, Redeem myself a little bit, hopefully. <laughs> Well, none of these were purchased in 2020, so I, 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 you, you like two colors, you like a simple texture. Two colors, simple pattern. <laughs> As you can see, I, I am, I'm a lover of opulence she and elegance. She is consistent. Um, okay, guys. Well, sound off in the comments below. Did Steve get it right? Did Steve get it wrong? I apologize to all of his professional contacts <laughs> once again. I, it's me i'm sorry um yeah sound off below comment down below if you've also <laughs> seen my video where i go through all of them ad nauseum for 900 years um and let me know if steve's right if steve's wrong where you fall in the middle of this great debate it's almost election season so start sounding off because this <laughs> is the perfect opportunity to start exercising your civil opinions um Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Please feel free to comment down below. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys. Don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button. Um, so that way we can continue to build our audience here. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.